Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide of our new UI kit feature configuration. In order to use the feature, you need a dashboard account. Once you've signed in with your account, you can see up here at the top, create application. I'm just going to give it a random name like this and select region and hit confirm button. And in just a few seconds, the new application is going to be created. The information about the application is written at the top. And we need to find this try UI key for chat in this left sidebar. And then it will show you the description for UI kit. So if I go to the very end, you will see that there is a list of all configuration values for the UI kit. And here, here are three big categories. Common means the config will be applied to all channel types and group channel. There is a whole bunch of configuration attributes below this section. And then at the bottom, you will see some configuration for open channel 2 and as you know the configuration value that we are going to change from here will affect to only the channels that created based on this application id let me show you what kind of configurations are controllable from dashboard you can see that the values are already set to true or false which is off or on. So if it's a group channel, for example, we have a config for budget tag. It's like URL preview. So if it's set as true, it means we will allow to display the URL preview in the channel. Typing indicator means we are gonna allow to display someone is typing at the bottom of the channel and it's true by default. And reaction is enabled mentioning someone is disallowed by default and the reply type is set as quote reply but you can change the value with some other values like thread which opens a separate window to chat under the parent message i will show you how it looks with these default values when we don't touch anything we have a preview button at the top right corner in this page, you can quickly check how the config change is applied to the channel created by the application ID. We have a mobile app and web app view like this. And you can create a channel here. Select group menu and let's invite someone here. And as we just checked together, budget tag is turned on by default. So let's see if the URL preview is displayed. You can also add a reaction here and you will see that you can also reply to this message with the quad reply method. This is quad reply method. But if you don't like the setting and want to modify this, you need to go up from here. I will turn off some config setting by pressing the edit button. I'll turn off audit tag and reaction and let me change the value of reply to thread. And hit save button. And then let's go back to the preview to see the changes applied. You can see the URL preview is gone and the reply type is now going to be a thread which opens a separate window like this and you might remember I put a heart emoji here for this one too oh there is a something to note here there is a priority level divided into four they are related to the way user can set the configuration the thing that we just modified the configuration from dashboard sp2 as described in this list p3 is the very clean status like from p0 to p2 hasn't been touched 
Rather than that, we have higher priority than changing the config from dashboard P0 and P1. It means we are going to change the config from code level. I will show you how you can customize each configuration with P0 and P1 using React Sample Lab. I'm going to use this application ID to demonstrate in the sample lab. Let me paste the application ID here. Refresh the browser. And you will see that it's the same as what we saw in the dashboard preview. You might remember that we changed the reply type to thread in the dashboard. But if you want to override the value in the code level, let's change the reply type of value to cut reply again. Uh, it's been changed to cut reply, like the setting that we saw at the beginning of this video. To confirm it, let's go back to the dashboard and see reply type is set as thread, but by overriding the value like this, it's been changed to cut reply. So now you know that the code level control has higher priority than the dashboard setting. Actually, what I just showed you is P1, which means I changed the global scope configuration by passing the value directly to send for that component. Then what could be P0? It's a more detailed code modification at the module level. I brought another example to show you how we can pass the configuration value to module level component. In React, you can customize channel or channel list component by importing the components from Sandbar UI kit package. In this case, you can also pass the value to channel component as we did the previous sample lab. And this time, I will change the value of reaction, which is set as false from dashboard, but I will try to turn it on here. The variable name can be found from document. You can also find the document from the dashboard in this section for each configuration. Let me turn on the configuration here. So you will see that it's turned on even though it's turned off from the dashboard. You can also set the value to the global scope of component which is the sandbar provider. If, even though if I pass the value as false, you will see it's turned on because I passed the value with P0 level of method. 